Now what you're seeing here is a zoom screen share with a slide and I'm going to start recording. Now at the moment the recording is displaying the first slide. It is also, if you notice on the top left hand side, I've got a pause button. So what I'm going to do just at the bottom here is advance a slide to the audience, advance another slide to the audience, advance another slide to the audience. Now what I'm going to do on my console is pause. I will ask the audience to say sketch the tree. While I'm saying have a look at the tree, make a couple of notes on it, I am going to advance, advance, advance onto the shot of the bluebells here. Then I say is everybody ready now? Have you finished sketching the tree? They say yes. Then I resume. I resume on the bluebells and I continue showing the audience the bluebells. I advance to some trees. I advance. I advance. I stop at the bird. Then I pause my screen. I tell the audience or ask the audience to try and identify which bird that is. While I'm doing that, bearing in mind this is an orange, zoom has paused, I will go along and say highlight something and I'm going to use the annotation tools here and I'm going to take a yellow and I'm going to say pay attention to oh, hold on highlight and I'm going to draw say a circle on the top right just to pay attention to something that may be in that area then I'm going to come along and Bear in mind the audience are seeing just the slide. Then the moment I click resume, the audience will then be getting the highlighted area on the top right. After all of that, I could once again pause. I can go on on mine and I can clear all. The audience will still have the yellow piece. Then I come along and I say I will go to mouse and click advance, click advance, click advance through my slides and just carry on like that. That's really the end of it. Then I will say everybody finish there looking at the bird. Yes they have they will say and resume. I resume on the chosen slides that I wish to show by using the top left pause and resume buttons and that was using zoom.us